Burnt Horizon is taking Rainbow Six Siege to Australia, bringing two new operators, one new map, and just really a lot of nasty looking spikes. Now these may look like something a defender would throw down, but they're actually deployed by an attacker. And this standard issue drone being used to scout enemy positions, it's being controlled by a defender. Seems like there's no better place to mix things up than down under. An attacker named Gridlock is who you have to thank for all those pointy new obstacles in your way. She calls these mechanical marvels Trax Stingers. Throw one on the ground and it immediately starts deploying clusters of defender damaging spikes. It throws out a lot of them, allowing you to really jam up a staircase or a hallway or cover a large area of a room. Toss a track stinger through a hatch or between floorboards to exert some pressure from above, or lob one into an area where you know a defender is hiding to put them in a prickly position. And don't worry about Jaeger's ADS, it can't affect Gridlock's gadget at all. Attackers can traverse the spikes no problem, but defenders who dare to tread on them will have three things happen that you really don't want to happen to you in Siege. They will take damage, they will be slowed down, and they will make noise. It's enough to make you think twice about that flanking route. And can you imagine trying to retake a planted diffuser surrounded by these things? That's a no from me. But hey, defenders, you don't have to let scary pieces of metal tell you how to run your life. Destroy them with bullets, explosives, or melee attacks. Even better, destroy the track stinger device during the deployment process in order to stop some or all of the clusters from spawning. Keep in mind, though, that all of these actions are noisy, and you risk alerting the attacking team to your whereabouts. And since the attacking team now includes Gridlock with her F-90 assault rifle, or her M249 LMG, you might want to think twice about attracting attention. On the other side of the siege is Mozzie, a defender who figures, why bring his own drones to the fight when he can just steal yours? Shot a drone head on, it's out. Armed with his trusty pest launcher, Mozzie can hack the attacking team's drones and make them his own. Yup, even Twitch drones. He can capture them in two ways. Number one, shooting a pest directly onto a drone. This is kind of tricky, unless you catch an idle drone out in the open or have a little help from Mute. But if you miss your shot, you can always pick up your pest and try again. Number two, shooting a pest onto a surface and creating an ambush. The pest will pounce on any drone that cruises into its sights and hack it. Each pest can hack one drone and add it to Mozzie's fleet. Once a drone is hacked, Mozzie gains control of it, driving, jumping, shocking, tagging, parking it in sneaky spots, just living the drone life. He can't pick them up, and if he drives a drone outside for more than a few seconds, he'll lose the hack and the drone will be lost, even to its original owner. But each drone Mozzie keeps in play is a valuable new intel source that joins the Defender camera feed for all to see. Now, defenders will see a special outline that shows them which drone not to shoot, but attackers will have to look for the telltale blue light to recognize turncoat drones, or bring IQ along to sniff out any traitors. Attackers can regain access to the camera feed of a hacked drone with a Dokebi hack, but the drone will still remain under defender control. From droning more carefully to spot the flashing warning sign of a nearby pest ambush, to looking twice at every drone they see, the attackers will have to burn more time and attention on drones when Mozzie is in the match. And while their attentions are elsewhere, Mozzie is more than happy to take advantage with his P-10 Roni automatic pistol or his Command 9 assault rifle with that reload animation Aussies would describe as Ripper. The new map in play is Outback, a roadhouse in the middle of the sunburnt country where travelers rest and refuel before venturing out into the bush. It's comprised of three main buildings joined together in an L shape. Each one has color-coded accents to help you get oriented as you navigate from the garage, blue, through the restaurant, green, and into the motel, 
yellow. There's a stuffed shark, a rodeo bull, and a host of other landmarks to help with callouts, as well as plenty of breakable walls and floors for our two new operators to destroy using their super shorty shotgun sidearms. I'm reloading! Gridlock, the queen of spikes, and Mozzie, Mr. Steal Your Drone, are hitting the road with Team Rainbow in Operation Burnt Horizon, though they still call Australia home. To stay up on the latest from Year 4 of Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Changing mags!